gentlemen, <clears throat> we are going to ship a billion dollars in gold bricks from our bank to the National Bank. It's the biggest shipment of gold ever made. Well, who's going to drive the armored car? We've got to have someone we can trust, absolutely. I recommend Freddy. No, Bill's better. I think Harry's the best. No, Bill. No, Fred. Harry! Bill! No, oh, Harry! Fred! Harry. Harry! Bill's the one! Oh, Bill! Oh, yours is Harry! Bill, it's Bill! No! Fred. Underdog! <laughs> Underdog! So it was decided that Underdog would drive the armored car. And when the great day came, there was an impressive ceremony in honor of the historic occasion. And there, friends, the last gold brick has been placed in the truck. This truck now contains a billion dollars in gold bricks. Lock the doors. Put on the chains. Now, where is our driver? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. We trust you, Underdog. This is the largest shipment of gold ever made. You must get it to the National Bank safely. When handling gold, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Oops. Good luck. But little did anyone know that at that very moment, the notorious criminal Riff Raff was planning to steal the gold. Mooch, we're going to knock over the biggest. A billion bucks in gold bricks. Uh, yeah, but Underdog is driving that armored car. We can't muscle in on him. Not with muscle, pal. We're going to use brains. And by the time we're through, they're going to be calling Underdog Dopey Dog. <laughs> Here's my plan. We're going to switch trucks, see? And when Hunter do... That toll booth up ahead is new. But I'd better stop or they'll get in a stew. How much? Uh, 25. Uh, say, aren't you underdog? You're just in time. There's a phone call for you in the back room. Why, thank you, sir. I won't be long. Please watch my car while I am gone. Sure thing, pal. I'll watch it all right. It must be some mistake, you see. There was no call in there for me. So long, sucker. Rick's trick had worked perfectly. Now Underdog was driving an empty truck and fast approaching the end of his trip. And here we are, friends, with a huge crowd waiting for our hero, Underdog. And here he comes now, bringing a billion dollars in gold bricks safely to the bank. Only Underdog could have done it. Congratulations, Underdog. You've done it. Open the lock. Undo the chains. Open the doors and let us all see the gold. Oh, no. No gold. The gold is gone. Oh. Sure, now, I hate to do this, Underdog, but I have no choice. You're under arrest. Now, what will Underdog do? How will he prove that he is innocent? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. In our last episode, Underdog was arrested for stealing a truckload of gold bricks worth a billion dollars. You can't arrest him. That's Underdog. He is a true hero. Hero Schmiro. All I know is that the truck was locked and chained. The only person who could have gotten the gold out was the driver. And Underdog was the driver. Take him away. And soon the news was all over town. X-ray, X-ray, read all about it. Underdog in jail for stealing gold. X-ray, X-ray. Meanwhile.
turmoil at the television station, O.J. Squeeze was talking to his top reporter. Holly, this is the biggest news in years. Get out there on camera and tell the world. I can't. I won't say that about Underdog. He couldn't have done it. He just couldn't. This is news. It's your job to tell people. I won't. You will. Won't. Will. Won't. Will. Please, Mr. Squeeze, just give me 24 hours. I must help Underdog clear his good name. I must find the real crooks. Meanwhile, where were the real crooks? Hey, a billion dollars in gold. What a haul. Uh, yeah, but how are we going to get rid of all those gold bricks? Uh, we are going to paint them red and take him over the border like they were real bricks. Uh, yeah, but uh, where are we going to paint them? We gotta have a place where nobody will bother us. I got it already. It's a haunted house. Haunted? Oh, no, no, not me. I'm not going in a haunted house. Oh, yes, you are. Now shut up. Meanwhile, unknown to the two crooks, Sweet Polly had hired a helicopter and was now in the air looking for the missing armored car. Uh, hey, Riff, I think we're being followed by a helicopter. Take a look through the glasses. It's that television reporter. Sweet Polly? Yeah. Well, see if you can give her a slip. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Give me that chopper. <laughs> That'll take care of her. Let's get out of here. And sweet Polly was in trouble. She bailed out of the damaged helicopter and drifted toward Earth, landing gently. She got down from the tree and headed for the nearest town. Excuse me, sir, but have you seen an armored car go by here? Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Which way? That way. Did it stop around here? Yep. Stopped at the house at the end of the road. Fine. I'll go there. I wouldn't if I was you. Haunts. Haunts? Haunts. Spooks. Ghosts. It's a haunted house. Don't be silly. There's no such thing as ghosts. I'm going up there. Suit yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, it is a little scary. I wish Underdog were here. Where was Underdog? Unfortunately, he was in court. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, Underdog, guilty. You have disgraced all the heroes in the world. I hereby sentence you to 30 years. I obey the laws in all the books, but if I'm in jail, I can't catch crooks. Now what will Underdog do? How can he prove his innocence? There are important developments in our next exciting episode. last episode, Underdog had been sentenced to jail for 30 years for stealing a billion in gold. But Sweet Polly had gone on the trail of the real crooks and was now looking for the missing armored car. Excuse me, sir, but have you seen an armored car go by here? Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Which way? That way. Did it stop around here? Yep. Stopped at the house at the end of the road. Fine. I'll go there. I wouldn't if I was you. Haunts. Haunts? Haunts. Spooks. Ghosts. It's a haunted house. Don't be silly. There's no such thing as ghosts. I'm going up there. Scary. I wish Underdog were here. Oh, it's so dark. Wait, I've got a candle in my purse.
purse. There. It went out. Now you smoke that. cell, Underdog's ultrasonic ears picked up the cry of Sweet Polly. What could he do? Can he possibly get there in time to save Sweet Polly? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. In our last episode, Underdog, in jail, heard Sweet Polly's cry for help. But what could he do? When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Hey, you can't bust out of here. I know that breaking out is wrong, but I'll be back. I won't be long. Dear, all the gold bricks look just like real red bricks. Now we can drive them right across the border. And nobody will ever catch on. Hey, listen, <laughs> she's still hollering. Sure, like I told you, it's a deep hole. She'll be falling for days. Come on. His ultrasonic ears told Underdog exactly where Sweet Polly was. And using his powerful fists as pile drivers, tunneled down through the earth and... And as Underdog carried her up to the surface, Sweet Polly told him about her adventures. And the house is haunted by ghosts. 
nonsense. Everyone from coast to coast knows there's no such thing as ghosts. But I saw it with my own eyes and heard with my own ears. We'll look around the house and see. Don't be afraid, just follow me. And after exploring the house room by room, they finally came to the basement where they discovered Riff Raff's ghost machine. Look, this button says laugh. Machine. There were no ghosts at all. I'm so relieved I... <coughs> blood! That's not blood. It's one of their tricks. They've painted the gold to look like bricks. The paint's still wet. They can't have gone far. You can catch them, underdog. When crooks escape, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why am I genius? I stole a billion bucks worth of gold bricks. I dropped that nosy TV reporter down a hole, and I got underdog in jail for 30 years. <laughs> halt! Yay! Underdog! I'll ram him! Give me that nitro. Now, if you boys are through playing around, I'll lift you and the truck right off the ground. And so Underdog took the gold back to the bank rescued Sweet Polly, and proved that he was innocent of any crime, so that once more, people could look up and say, Look, in the sky, it's a plane! It's a bird! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane, nor bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me. Underdog.